Hello friends, welcome in this video lesson. Now we will discuss about the properties of logarithm. We defined log with the help of exponential that a to the power x is equal to m, where a, m are all positive real numbers, and then this implies the logarithm of m base a is equal to x. Now, when the base of this logarithm is e, that is when a a is equal to e, then it is called natural logarithm. And when the base of the logarithm is 10, then it is called common logarithm. These are the two basic properties of logarithm. A raised to the power log x base A is equals to x if x is positive. And number two, log of a to the power x base a equals to x for all x belongs to r. Now, properties of logarithm or rule of logarithm. Rule one, log one is equals to zero. Base any base because a to the power 0 is equal to 1. And log a base a is equal to 1 because a to the power 1 is equal to a. Now, if a, b, m, n are positive real numbers where a not equal to 1 and b not equal to 1, the following rules are applicable. Now, rule 3, log of m into n base a is equal to log m base a plus log n base a. So, now we will prove how it comes. Let this log m base a is equal to x and log n base a is equals to y. Now from this we get that a to the power x is equals to m and from this we get a to the power y is equals to n. Now we have m into n, so a to the power x into a to the power y, and from the laws of exponents, we can write this is equals to a to the power x plus y. Now, from the definition of logarithm, you can write that log of mn base a is equal to x plus y. Now, what is x? x is log m base a. And what is y? y is log n base a. So it is proved that log of mn 
this a is equal to login plus a plus login base a. So here the product is converted to addition, and we know that product of two large number it is very time taken. But here just when you convert into log, you have to do just addition. So it will take less time. Our next rule that log of m by n base a is equal to log m base a minus log n base a. So as usual. If I take this is equals to x and this is equals to y, Then a to the power x is equals to m, and a to the power y is equals to n. So if we start from m by n, a to the power x by a to the power y, and so it becomes x square a raised to the power x minus y. So this implies, by definition of log. Log of m by n base a is equals to x minus y, and which is equals to log m base a minus log n base a. So log of 25 by 16, you can write as log 25 minus log 16. Now our next rule is log m raised to the power n base a is equals to n into log m base a that means if you take log 3 to the power 2 base 3 is equals to 2 log 3 base 3 and log 3 base 3 is equals to 1 so this becomes 2 into 1 is equals to 2 Need a proof of for this one. So we'll start from here. Let log s to the power n is equals to a. Sorry, is equals to x. So this implies a raised to the power x is equals to to the power n. Log n base a equals to y and this implies a raised to the power y. A is base to the power y is equal to m. Now, a to the power x equals to from this relation and m is equal to a to the power y. So, you substitute here.
so now we found that a to the power x equal to a to the power n y this implies x equals to n y that is x is that is x log m base a is equals to n into y and y is equals to log m base a. So, it is proved. Now rule 6, log m base a is equal to log b base a into log m base b. And we use this one to change the base. How it comes? Let So, this implies a to the power x goes to m, then log m base b is equal to y, So, from this relation and this relation we obtain. Now, another relation we will take here log B base A is equals to Z. So, that we will get A to the power Z is equals to B. So, here B will be replaced by A to the power Z. Now, we obtain a to the power x is equals to a to the power z. So, x is equals to y into z. Now, this implies that log m base a is equals to y. That means y is log m base b. into z and z is log b base a. So, this one proved. Now, rule 7. Here, we have to prove the log a base b is equals to 1 by log b is log b base a that is the log b base a is the reciprocal of log a base b that m is equal to a we put in rule 6 
So in this relation, we are putting m is equal to a. So therefore, log a base a is equal to log b base a into log a base b. And this is equals to 1. So 1 is equal to log b base a into log a base b and which is equals to this one root and from here we obtain. So this implies log a base b one open log b base a and the rule 8 log m base a equals to log m log a to the same base b and this is true since log m base b is equal to log a base b into log m base a let us discuss about some examples So here log 32 base x is equals to 10. So if we apply the laws of exponent here, we can write that 10 to the power x to the power 10 as x is base is equals to 32. And 32 is 2 raised to the power 5 or root 2 raised to the power 10. So, x to the power 10 equals to root 2 the power 10 that is x is equals to root 2. Now here also what will be the value of x so that log of 0 0.25 base root x is equals to 4. So from here you can write the root x raised to the power 4 is equals to 25 by 100 is equals to 1 by 4 and that is equals to 4 to the power minus 1. And is equals to 2 to the power minus 2. Now root x, we can write x to the power half. So x to the power half into 4 is equal to 2 to the power minus 2. So x to the power, eh, sorry, x to the power 2 is equals to 1 by 4. So the implies x is equals to 1 by 2. So, we have to express this in terms of logarithm. So, here base is 4. So, log base 4 
the number is m is 64 which is equals to 3 Now we define the base. That base is equals to x. So from the question you can write x is the base, so log of 243. So log of 243 base x is equals to 5. And this implies x to the power 5 is equals to 243. So this implies x to the power now 243. If you do the prime factorization of 243, it is divisible by 3, so first 3, so 81. Again divided by 3, 27. 9 divided by 3. So 243 can be written as 3 raised to the power 5. So this implies x is equals to 3. Okay, thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net